Today, we're going to meet Fabio Vaccarono, Executive Vice President Google and CEO of Google Italia. Fabio, thanks so much for being a guest in our executive chat, despite the, the smart working. So we met about 20 years ago when you were a graduating student uh, at the MBA program of uh, Zda Bocconi. And uh, at the time, uh, uh, Google was in its early days. Uh, the World Wide Web was just a large communication network and not uh, the engine of the fourth industrial revolution. What happened then and did you envision that? We have been amazed and thrilled ourselves by the speed uh, through which customers in every part of the world really adopted the new technologies. If we think about our new way of living and working, we really can say we lived immersed in the World Wide Web ecosystem. As we speak, there are 5 billion people potentially going online and spending the vast majority of their 24 hours a day online. It's totally normal in a world like this that every industry, every value chain, every go-to-market model is going to be rethought due to the fact that technology is changing consumer and people behaviors. And therefore, in a world in which every industry needs digital transformation, we will have a world in which every business is going to become a digital business. So no matter if you are an automotive decision maker or a financial institution decision maker, internet business is going to be your business uh, immediately, I would say, anytime soon. Fabio, agility is uh, the name of the game today for modern innovation and Google is considered a benchmark in terms of business model. Can you share the secrets of Google in terms of innovation? I think you are absolutely right. Uh, when we say that the world is changing to the pace uh, that I've tried to describe, sincerely it means that we have to be ready to think and rethink and rethink about ourselves, our strategy, our go-to-market operations, uh, our value chain, our relationship with the final consumer uh, nearly a hundred times uh, a day because nothing can be given for granted anymore. And the speed through which uh, customers are uh, experimenting and using technology to integrate uh, their daily lives and remain fully included, we have seen that throughout, for example, the big wave of pandemic uh, of last year, is absolutely the new mantra. So agility comes with that. If we have to implement traditional organizational models, if we have to stick to traditional lead times of go-to-market, if we have to be very linear in our approach to things without experimenting, we would have a consumer way faster than the speed of our organizations. And therefore that would create an asymmetry, leaving a lot of room for new entrants or for uh, competitors that are smarter than us in adopting the new technologies. So agility is definitely the key word of these times. Fabio, Italy holds the 25th position in the Digital Economy and Society Index, despite digital transformation being clearly essential. As you said, you know, the pandemic is bringing the, the attention to this important investment and the Next Generation EU Fund is uh, proposing, you know, many opportunities in this respect. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? I totally agree with your statement. Italy is today suffering a double delay, being one of the slowest uh, digital markets in Europe and being Europe itself one of the slowest digital regions in the world, especially if compared with North America or the Asia Pacific bloc. Absolutely true. For the very wrong reasons, we made a tour of steep acceleration throughout uh, 2020, so we are catching up. But it is very important that we keep the pace and therefore investing at least one third of the next generation fund as our cousins in Spain, as I've already declared, for example, is going to be of paramount importance. Also because as soon as the pandemic starts being over, hopefully soon, we will see a growing difference of pace between markets that are more innovation and techn technologically skewed compared to markets that are less. So very important that we concentrate all of our energies to making the most out of these uh, recovery funds. Fabio, one thing that you typically uh, stress when you come lecturing our students is the importance of critical thinking, of cultural depth, uh, in general of humanities. Is this that we need in order to govern the technological machine in the future? 
It's a very good question. I think for all the above the mentioned things, I think that we are entering an era in which you have to keep yourself flexible and agile because sincerely, we don't know what is going to come yet. And therefore, paradoxically, we will see an era in which the generalist people, I think, will have a significant competitive advantage towards the people that are mere specialists. That doesn't mean that we don't need specialists, but we will be needing people capable of learning, learning continuously. And therefore, I have to say, not because I am such a happy guest of Bocconi today, that learning to learn and continuing studying throughout the entirety of professional life is going to be definitely the most important thing to do and to keep in mind for a wannabe leader. So, Fabio, thank you very much. We have uh, started the in-presence teaching and I really hope at some point in time to have you back on our beautiful campus. Thanks to you, that will be, as usual, the greatest of honors. Have a nice day, all.